What's going on H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants, and today we're going to be talking about carbon and should you use it in your planted tank. Stay tuned. So I often get asked on the live stream, should I be using carbon in my planted tank? And I've also gotten a bunch of other messages, should I use carbon in my planted tank? The very short answer is no, and I will explain why, but there are some instances where you would use it. Let's go over why you wouldn't use carbon in your planted tank. When you dose fertilizer, if you have carbon in your planted tank, it's going to absorb all the fertilizer you put in your tank and your plants won't be able to utilize it. So it's ideally the best situation where you don't have carbon in your filter. Now, there are two particular reasons on why you would use carbon in your planted tank, and it's only for a brief amount of time. Once the causes are dealt with, then you switch back and take out carbon. Let's go over them. But before I do that, have you guys subscribed? If you're watching on Facebook, make sure you also like the page. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that like button. As a matter of fact, smash it and share it if you might have uh, some friends that are planted tank keepers and wouldn't know if they should keep carbon or not in their filter. But let's get into why you would use carbon. So two reasons. One, your tank is really smelly. Now that's usually an indication you have rotting material in your tank. Either a plant is rotting, a fish that died is rotting, and your filter isn't power enough to, uh, powerful enough to break that down, so it's causing there to be a, a weird smell. All my aquariums smell like just water. They don't smell dirty, they don't smell rotting, and that's a clear indication of a healthy tank. So if you have carbon, you can put that in your filter, it'll eventually help remove the stink out of your water, which is a good thing. But like I said, if you're dosing fruits, you wanna remove the carbon after the smell has been dealt with. Secondly, the second reason why you would use carbon is you had sick fish, you dosed medication, you eliminated the sickness, and now you want to remove that sick that um, medicine and any sort of other uh, contaminants in the water from the water. And the way you do that is with carbon. Carbon will filter out all of that uh, chemicals that you would have been using and help make your water pure again. So those are the two instances where you would use carbon in a planted tank. Really, that's about it. If you guys can think of any other reasons why you would use carbon, or tell me if you do use carbon, I'd like to know if you use carbon in your plants tank and why, make sure you drop a comment below. Also, if you wanna see your question answered in a future video, be sure to leave a comment of what your question is, and I'll be sure to answer it. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking it out. Be sure to check out the website if you want some cool plants, obviously. I mean, hello, I gotta put myself out. Anyway, Guys, I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.